In this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, how to complete the mastery quiz, which is the quiz over the six fundamental graphs. There are six graphs, but they're each in here two times. You can see there's a maximum of 12 points. There's also 12 problems. This is a mastery quiz, which means you need to get them all right to get any credit. So the goal of this is that you can recognize the basic shapes of the fundamental graphs. You see the graph, you recognize the function that produces that graph instantaneously without having to look anything up. If you have to look them up, you should not be able to complete the quiz on time, and that is intentional. I want you to be able to recognize these fundamental graphs just like you recognize a square or a circle or a triangle. You don't have to look up an image and say, what, what shape is that? Um, so now you're in college algebra, so we're looking at the fundamental graphs. So let's go ahead and get started, and I'll demonstrate. And you have one minute to complete these. That gives you five seconds per graph. So that one's 1 over x. So I just hit the fraction bar and then type that in. For others, like the square root, you're going to need the keypad. So I click on the keypad. That's the square root of x. And I'll just leave it up. The next one's the cube root. So I click on that same radical symbol, but now I have to put the 3 as the index outside. This is 1 over x again. This is x squared. For some reason it's slow. This is the absolute value of x. Now for absolute value, you have to hit the absolute value grouping bars over here at the left. Don't try to use it from your keypad. Absolute value again. x squared. x cubed. x cubed again, and this one will be the cube root of x again, and then finally the square root of x again, and so I'm done. And see I have five seconds to spare, so it is definitely doable. You probably won't get it done on your first attempt. Usually it takes at least two or three attempts, sometimes as many as nine or ten. Some people have even gone more than that. <clears throat> Just be patient and kind of go in a nice rhythmic pattern as you complete it. Just remember you have to answer one question every five seconds, so it's not super rushed. Try not to rush yourself. Uh, once you get them all correct, you will have passed the test and get the full 12 points credit. And that's that.